Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Getting to go back out to Vermont and get to drink some Hill Farm said beer. How blessed are we? Courtesy of my man, Jeff, I appreciate you, bro. You are the best. Uh, I've said this before. For my money, I think um, Hill Farmstead is the best brewery in the United States as far as um, them brewing almost every style, world class. Uh, everything I've had. I've never had even an okay beer from Hill Farmstead. Um, they are, they just, their beers are unreal. So um, I'll die on that hill. <laughs> I'll fight every one of you. Hill Farmstead. Uh, for my money is, is the best that there is as far as like across the board every kind of beer from them Saison, uh, pale ales, lagers, IPAs, double IPAs, stouts, porters, like everything it, it's insane um, how well <laughs> made their beer is. So um, this is Song of Spring. I've never heard of this beer. I don't know if this is something new or if it's just something that they brew. Um, I've never had this beer before so I'm stoked to check out a new Hill Farm said beer. This is a pretty label India Pale Ale brewed with New Zealand and Vermont hops. Don't know what that means. Um, they are in Greensboro Bend. Um, they do not put alcohol on the labels of their beers. I'm not sure why, but I think their IPAs are 6%. So, um, can on April 1st. It's an April Fool's beer. So, time of recording, just over, let's see here, 25 days in the can. So, three weeks. We are using our Hill Farmstead uh, glass because you guys know beer tastes better in proper glassware. I love Hill Farmstead because they just get like, especially their hoppy beers, they're just so soft, but you get so much flavor out of them. They're, they're just, I don't know, they're great. So we will stop swooning over Hill Farmstead. This beer, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but it is glowing. It is that glowing kind of light pineapple-ish juice, finger of super fluffy bright white head. It looks awesome. I love this little Hill Farmstead glass. Jeff sent me this, little, I don't know, a couple years ago. I always use it when I drink Hill Farmstead. So let's smell this thing. I wonder if you can see that on camera. This is like a, I don't even, what color green is that? <laughs> it's like a mint green with kind of light text on it. I don't know if that even shows up on uh, camera. So let's smell this. Gosh, it just smells so fucking good. This is nothing like intense, nothing obnoxious, but just super tropical fruity hops. It is pineapple. It is, it's got, man, I've been smelling this in hazy beer um, recently and it started with green cheek. It's got that cool creamsicle vanilla thing. Well, yeah, it's stone fruity. It's bright. It's, I think pineapple is the, like the, um, like the dominant, uh, flavor that I'm smelling. But yeah, it's like nectarine -y, peachy. Gosh, that vanilla thing is rad. It smells, it smells like hop candy. And I know I say that a lot, but it's got this cool, like bready, crackery sweetness. Gosh, it smells really, really good. Let's go and taste it, Jeff. Cheers. Appreciate you, bro. That is a fucking tasty beverage. Gosh, it's been so long since I've had Hill Farm said I've missed their beer. <laughs> I have said this in past videos. If I did not live in California, I think California is the best state for beer. I'll fight anyone for that. I mean, the, the breweries here are just, it, it's unfuckwithable. Um, if I didn't live in California, I would live in Vermont as far as beer goes. Because <laughs> between Hill Farm said Alchemist, Lawson's, uh, I'm sure I'm missing some. These are some of my favorite beers. There is a rad grapefruit zest, orange peel, middle of your tongue. I was not expecting that from the aroma of this beer. This beer smelled juicy. It smelled very hop candy. There wasn't a West Coast aspect to it. There is an awesome bitterness right on the middle of my tongue. That is, it's like grapefruit zest, orange peel, that kind of citrus rind. Um, and it's got this cool little oily bitterness, but there's a ton of pineapple, a ton of peach and that vanilla sweetness that we were smelling almost like that creamsicle kind of orange Julius thing. Um, it's their mid palate, like with the bitterness to the finish, it finishes with this cool, like sourdough bread sweetness. 
this beer is ridiculously drinkable. I mean, it's 6%. It's nothing crazy, but yeah, this is really, really good. Despite being hazy, it's spritzy on your palate. It feels light. It's clean. Um, finishes moderately dry. That's awesome. I mean, there's, I don't know how many hops are in this. Um, there might be a bunch of them. I, I always say like when there's more than like three hops, you can't really taste everything that's in a beer. So um, if you like pineapple-y, if you like citrus oil, if you like a little bit of vanilla sweetness, if you like stone fruit and you like a dry um, hazy IPA, this beer is for you. This again, we mentioned it in, uh, I think it was the last green cheek hazy beer that I drank. It's not obnoxious. It's not chalky. It's not yeasty. It's not hot burny. It's just ridiculously delicious. Awesome stuff. So that is song of spring from Hill farm. So have you guys had this one? Is this a normal beer? Can someone give me some more info? I'll look it up, I guess, after I'm done, but um, I've never seen this beer or this can, so it's fun to drink New Hill stuff. Jeff, I appreciate you, bro. Thanks so much for sharing this one. This is fantastic. So that is it. Appreciate you guys watching. I will see you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.